what's up youtube welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be covering a euro usd trade an idea that was played out perfectly all right so um we're going to be covering this trade go over the analysis the reasoning behind it and it's simply just you know what we were looking at and why so we're going to cover the basis of the trade right um i recently uploaded a video monday for you guys about the giveaway right we had a 2000 subscriber giveaway and it's pretty good giveaway so um you know check that out if you haven't already uh i have a video covering that alone so um you can check that out for yourself and you know see what the details are and things of that nature if you didn't know dxy and your usd are inversely correlated meaning if dxy is going up your usd is going down so um let's go back and use this replay real quick that was the idea that we we're looking at um i did send this to this whole trade idea to the discord and they know why i was selling your usd as well because everyone understands that you know dxy is just dxy um but yeah let's kind of zoom into this real quick i'll go on to one minute and we'll kind of play this back a little bit going deeper into it we can see these drives going towards the upside so we have drives 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 now i wasn't really concerned with these drives right here i didn't really care about that because we're in the we're in like the heart of agent session i didn't really care now when it comes to the end of agent session that's when i really care about what's going on because at the end that's when i'm waiting for that frankfurt open with you can call that pre-london for that manipulation all right so that's when i really paid attention to these last couple of moves here now these are important because this is where you actually see the lower time frame distribution that happened here we have our first drive here which is our buying climax okay we have our automatic rally here all right we have our up thrust our up thrust leads to a minor sign of weakness boom we have our utad and yes this is a utad we did raid this high you can see that little wick that little wick is important all right <laughs> for you guys that don't that pay attention to this stuff that little wick is very important okay because it doesn't matter if it's a wick a body the way i realize this is because if you think about it from this low to this high this little wick still mean that whatever seller was here let's say quote unquote we had some type of supply here they still got taken out right they still got broke this high still got broken even if it was a little weak the price still traded above that high so it's still broken okay so boom now essentially what we wait for now since now this is our utad utad we wait for this low to be broken right Wait for that load to be broken. Now, this entry right here, whatever this entry was, because this right here was the mitigation of the UTAD. So this was the test. I did not take the test entry. I took the next entry. The reason why I did not take this entry is because I was waiting for this load to get broken. That's the load I want to get broken. Now, if you look at it again, um, I'm kind of show you guys how fractal this market is. You can see that we have a distribution inside of a distribution. All right, this is how fractal these markets is, guys. When I tell you this stuff works, it works. So I showed you guys the overall distribution. Let me show you the fractal distribution that you could have caught in here. We have the same thing, buying climax, automatic rally, up thrust, UTAD. So we have a UTAD inside the UTAD, um, minor sign of weakness here. Boom, this is our major sign of weakness. And this could have been your entry. The 50%, I don't know if we reached the 50%. We did to the T. This could have been your first entry. Now, I'm not going to tell you I took this entry because I did not take that entry. <laughs> I did not take that entry. Personally, I was waiting for this main load to get broken. Um, I wasn't paying attention to this um, fractal schematic. I did see it, but I wasn't paying attention to it. I was really waiting for this load to get broken. And once that load got broken here, I knew that this schematic, this overall schematic was confirmed. Let me delete this lower time frame schematic so it doesn't get confusing. Okay, so um, as you guys can see, this is how fractal the market is, guys. This is how fractal. You see the overall schematic, and then you see the lower time frame schematic here. Okay, this is what we need to see. This is how clean these markets can be. All right, so now if many of you haven't seen it already, 
this is the entry right here. This is the last candle that needs to be mitigated. So I'm going to just go ahead and say now this was the entry where I was looking for. Now, essentially what happened was, boom, the market sold completely off. Okay, we sold completely off. We took off after we made this last test of this lower time frame um, distribution. After we tested that lower time frame distribution inside this whole distribution, this whole thing becomes a redistribution in itself. All right. Um, if you don't understand all these terms, I'm saying I do have some videos covering Wyckoff. But if you want an in-depth version of you know covering Wyckoff, just get inside the course. It's worth it. The value of it is super worth it. All right. So, boom. Right. Um, essentially, now that we have our distribution, we have everything set. How do we get into this trade? Since I didn't catch this entry, I have to catch the next entry, which is the LPS. All right, so like I said before, this one minute order block was not mitigated, it was not touched, so I know this is where the market was gonna come to. And also, if I wanted to be more, you know, skeptical on it and I didn't really, um, I wanted a little bit more confirmation on it, I could've just did this, right? You could really zone out. Instead of, like, if you're not confident in taking the order block itself, you could mark out this whole retracement or this whole pullback as your whole, um, area for entry and this could be your entire entry now that that would have been a four pip stop loss me personally i wanted this 3.5 pip stop loss <laughs> that was just me personally i wanted this all right that's what i wanted okay so i mean it's 0.5 either way i mean it really didn't matter but i just knew that we couldn't go past this can i knew this was what needed to be mitigated so i didn't see no need for my stop loss to be all the way up there i didn't really want to do that so and in any case, I didn't want to miss this trade either because you can see the 50% is above higher. And you know how the markets are these days. We could have just tapped. Well, we could have just came in, boom, tap, and then left, right? We don't want that to happen. So I didn't want to miss this trade because I knew that your USD was going to fall hard. Okay, so essentially now all you do is wait, right? Um, I'm not entering the market in any of these areas here as you guys know we don't enter the market here we wait for the market to come back to where it sold from we wait to for the market to come back to where supply is and where the banks got into the market so at this point if you don't believe that smart money works just watch how um the market moves now i'm not saying you can predict every move in the market but if you understand the concepts behind this right <clears throat> then i mean you can't tell me that smart money is, you know, fake or not real. Like there's, there's no, it's kind of, you're kind of delusional. When you see this happen so many times in the market, as I've seen it happen, you're delusional. All right. Super delusional. So just looking at this, I'm gonna let it play a little bit. Um, I might make it go faster. Let me see. I'll go five minutes. So I'm gonna let this play out. You can see as the market's moving up, boom, right? There it is right there. There goes the entry here. And as you can see, this right here itself was a manipulation towards the upside, all right? Now the main reason why, you know, whack off happens is to give banks and institutions opportunity to get out of their buy orders or to give them opportunity to place more sell orders, okay? It's simply what it is. Sellers are getting to the market here, they're distributing their orders, they're getting opportunity to sell the market. Like I said, they can't just sell the market, they have to distribute their orders evenly and they have to get their orders filled, all right? That's why you see such precise mitigation like this, okay? They need to mitigate their orders, okay? It's pretty simple what happened next, the market continues down, all right? I did hold this over the weekend as well. I was break even by the time we took out the slow and um, partials. I took a little bit of partials here at this low. All right. Just watch the market fall. All right. So um, currently the max that it hit is a one to 37. And right now, I believe it's running at a what? Oh, around a 1 to 37, 1 to 36, 1 to 37. All right, so that is the trade. Now, I did send this out to the Discord. I sent it out in my, you know, um, private little group here. I said DXY is going up again, right? 
told you that I was looking at DXY, expecting EU to fall heavy. Looking at this distribution setup that I see here, and you can see it's kind of like exactly the same entry on this same candle. If you guys want to check out that ebook, it's a lot of information in there to show you guys, you know, how to actually use these concepts. It's very simplified. It's a simplified strategy for those of you guys that want something simple and not, you know, too in depth. So I made it super easy for you guys to understand. Um, I have a couple of videos in that ebook explaining things as well. So, um, you know, take advantage of that. Um, there is a giveaway inside that ebook itself. So I'm not sure, you know, if the, um, uh, I'm not sure if, you know, the use is already used up already, but I mean, you can go see for yourself and yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.